become social. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to Math Tea UK and I am pleased to say after a long long wait of over two years we have got us six back together again and I must admit these are my favourite guys to fish with because these are the only people that really know how to put up with me <laughs> especially Simon who I'm, I'm right next door to so I really I do apologise Si I'm sorry about that mate but four days at the boathouse and I can't wait to get going. We've nearly set up, we're all spread out all over the lake, so it's not a normal social where we're along one bank. Unfortunately, we are spread out, so when it comes to the social evenings, we'll have to reel in, probably come here to the party central, and then we'll carry on our usual antics and have a good laugh while we're here. But, as always, it is quite a tradition for some of us to give other people presents. And I've already just been informed that fortunately for me, no cat-based paraphernalia from Chris but we do have a couple of things for Chris and I know Simon is very very eager to pass his present over very eager thank you Matt um, because Chris obviously loves Second World War aircraft and the fact that he was born in Germany which makes him <laughs> what German oh him, he is German yeah, yes that's right German, yeah. German. Which German. makes him English. German I just thought I'd buy him something um, obviously to remind him of home there you go, Chris. What, home Swindon? No. Home Germany. Well, it depends on what your dad was doing. Can you tell us what it is, Chris? It's a uh, German Messerschmitt airfix kit. Is it? Spitfire. It's a BF 109E-3. All right. Can, we just, can I just have that for a second? That's very nice. So does that remind you of where you was born, Chris? No. No? No, not no. at all. Oh dear. Right. No, I don't really remember the war, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Well, that is not the only present because um, I, I'm, I'm aware that life has took a massive turn for you recently. And some of you may be aware, some of you may not be. Um, the place where. Thanks, Simon. You're welcome, Matt. The, the place where uh, Chris has been working for the last 28 years, was it? 28 years, one month and 14 days. Not that you was counting. Was, no, who's counting? Unfortunately, that place has closed down and Chris is now a jobless a, a, a jobless fisherman. And, and But what was it you used to do, Chris? What? Uh, I worked for Honda and I did as little as possible in there. Yeah, but you worked in a particular environment, didn't you? What was that environment? Paint environment. Paint environment, yeah. Yes. Well, you see, when I'm, I've been made redundant in the past as well. I know how it feels when you suddenly become jobless and you've done something for so long that you need you need something to, to, to look back on and, and keep it in the system just while you look for a new job so I've got you something that you might find very useful just let me go get it for you oh, just, so uh, there you go mate I, I hope I hope right. that allows your transition into the real world again a little bit smoother I have to open this now. yeah you have to open it now yeah yeah because there's also two parts to this All Right. I didn't wrap it. I didn't. I didn't wrap it. Who wrapped it? Karen. Good old Karen. <laughs> Good old Karen. <laughs> so technically, it's your own legal graffiti kit. So sidewalk paint sprayer. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you know just to keep the paint going in your system, just ease down gently, and but not only that. If you go on the internet, you get some, um, you get these these free stencils. These free stencils here. So uh, have a look at what, what stencils you get for free. You have to cut them out yourself. Right. Right. So there you go. There's the first one there. I I, I love fishing. That, that's that's a nice one. And of course, you can't beat having a, a nice carp 
carp on your stencil as well. So it's carpy stencil there. Look, that's nice that one, isn't it? Yeah, that's nice that. And then you've got obviously carper, so you can spray it all over your bivy, not mine. So there you go. And you've got a little you can good luck in the future, buddy. Them. And I hope hmm. you get some use out of that and enjoy yourself. And that plane, Chris, there's some glue and some paint. In yeah. It. So when you get bored on the bank later, you can make that. We've got four days. Yeah. He's got four days Let's to make see that what plane. He comes up with. Yeah. Let's have a look at how he does. Welcome to Mafia UK. Everybody's set up. I'm on the double swim with Simon. Simon's got the right hand side. So what I'm doing now, I've got my walkie talkie, Simon's just back there and I'm going to bring him in so he's, he can bait up in the right spot. So here we go, hope I don't fall in on camera. Yeah, I'm in place mate and that last cast was a bit short. Pretty much his first cast and he was absolutely bang on where he needs to be which is just an underarm throw out and all his bait can be right there undisturbed don't know how you can't catch a fish off that little spot in the next few days so hopefully simon's got himself a good spot there so tell me simon how long have you been fishing five minutes, mate. about five minutes yeah and you're on your first run already that's awesome mate that's absolutely awesome let's keep this camera on let's get that fish in <laughs> now that's the first one in the net now we have to leave it for five minutes before we can bring it out I'm shaking a bit so 15.7 I'd say cool 15.7 good start right guys first fish off the mark rods have literally been in five minutes um, double yellow wafter fishing in about four feet of water um, nine wraps, and I've had a yeah, lovely, scaly beauty. And what was the weight? Was it 15.7? Yeah, some of that, wasn't it? 15.7. Beauty. A cracking little fish, that one. Look up, Si. <laughs> yeah, I nice one. Nice. It. Got his nose down on it. Smoothly done. <laughs> Come on, girl. Yeah. There she goes. Oh, she got you. <laughs> Thank you for your effort. Happy well, that's a good start, Alex. It's a lovely start. Yeah, good start. Lovely start. Huh? Well done, Sai. I'm a little wet. So what we'll do, we'll just have a quick shout out while we're in between catching fish, because obviously it's going to be fast. So this time. We've just mentioned, I just had a message from Paul. Yeah, hiya Paul. So, there you go Paul, here is your shout out and uh, tight lines buddy. So we're early in the session for Chris and he's off the mark already. Yay. So well done mate. Oh. Assisted by the ever glamorous Lee. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome mate. I've got a hell of a scar on. Well, guys, so pretty quick into the session, and I mean pretty quick, as in like, half an hour the rods have been out and I've had my first I've had my first fish I say just chucked out some PVA bags just to get fishing quickly oh, I'm gonna struggle with this I'm suffering with a bit of a bad back at the moment guys I haven't mentioned to anyone yet <laughs> he's, he's not said it I, no, no. no I haven't heard it for the last 30 seconds no. anyway but here we go guys I think it's gonna 
There we go. I'm gonna put some more over Elite. Yep. The fish, not me. <laughs> oh, here we go, guys. Solid PVA bag. I had a yellow hook bait on. I'm not sure what the hook bait is. More than likely seafood. But uh, yeah. Come on, straighten out your tail. Straighten out your tail. Thank you. Yeah. First fish on my account here at uh, Boathouse Fisheries. Twenty pounds, two ounces. Well done, Chris. Well Thank done, you Christopher. Very much. Well done. So we'll give it a good dose of propolis and then we'll... Well that's off to a flying start, unfortunately as well for me that I've got uh, Simon in the same swim as me so I can actually go and see the other fish as they come out and Simon can cover the rods and, and to be fair the chaps here did say that you know if, as long as you've got someone covering your rods you're okay and, and I have because we're in a double swim so that's really good. Good start. No less than an hour's worth of fishing been done by everybody so far. Some of us ain't even in the water yet. And two fish out. That's an awesome start. A nice lake too. Rum cider. Jesus Christ. Don't be put off by that. That doesn't mean anything when it comes to this sort of stuff. Yeah. And who did that? Him. <laughs> Hello Chris. Enjoying the rum cider? Actually, yes, I am. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, wa I wasn't keen on it myself. I'd never tried that one before, and I kind of bought it without tasting it. And um. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Oh, of course. I, I thought it was the equivalent of dilly like dilly, sir. drinking like um. You know, when you drink flat coke, it doesn't taste the same as what coke should. Yep. Is he in? <laughs> Is that a roach? But, um, Hang on a minute. Lee has just got himself an itty bitty little carp. That's not a blank, Lee. Well, as always, we're heading into our first evening. Uh, light's probably about an hour's worth of light left. Um, I've had a couple of Knox. I moved out to the 12 wraps as advised by the bailiff and I've, I've had liners on both of those rods I've moved out to 12 wraps. So I've either gone too far by a wrap or two. So I started at 9, I've gone out to 12 and my rods are dancing with liners so I may have to bring that back in. Just maybe one, two wraps maybe. So it's either 10 or 11 wraps where I need to be but it's all part of the process isn't it? Finding where the fish are. So. Um, we'll, we'll leave it there for tonight, we'll see how we go, and if I keep getting liners all through the night in the morning, I'll uh, bring it in and try a little bit shorter range. But, it's now time for dinner. Uh, Simon's got his barbecue going and he's got his chicken thighs with maple sauce. And he's just brought them over to show me, and they look absolutely, and they smell absolutely fantastic. I'm going for a chicken madras, as always, and looking forward to it because Apart from my uh, fish finger butty I had earlier, that's all I've eaten today. And I've been up since half past three. Just before I sign off, we're not having a, a gingangooly tonight. Everybody's just staying in their, in their pegs and doing what they do. But tomorrow night, we are having a gingangooly. And that is when I'm going to bring out the special treats that have been sent all the way from Idaho. So, Maria Salazar, thank you so much for your gifts. I've hung on to them and hung on to them for this occasion and over the next few days we're going to be learning a little bit about Idaho with my book of facts, um, especially where you come from and we're going to be learning all about um, some good old traditional beef jerky. I've got some uh, hunting huntsman soup and I've got all sorts of stuff to try, especially these marzipan sweets that we've already tried and I've managed, I have actually managed to save a few just to share with the lads tomorrow night. Oh, that's going to burn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. The light on those trees making those trees look really red. 
Look at that. That's an awesome view. Oh, those trees look absolutely fantastic. Well, it is time to tuck in. Oh! Come on. No, well, I know. There's some big nasty clouds coming, so we may have to cut this short and move indoors in a minute because it looks like it could rain on us. But this Madras chicken curry with naan bread. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. It is a bit hot, but I can deal with it. It's not the Carolina Reaper curry. <laughs> that was a, that was fun. That was a good video. Of that if you've not seen that video, it was when Dave and I we fished a flooded lake, which was clear water, and Dave brought a Carolina Reaper curry for us to eat, and it was quite comical. So I'll put a link up here somewhere. If you after this video, click on it. And watch us two idiots eat the hottest curry you can get in the UK. And it was hot. I mean, real hot. And the rain is coming in a little bit harder, so we may just have to move indoors. So, quick update. Chris is now on his second £20. Simon is still on his first fish. Lee has caught a little tiny little carp. Uh, Dave, Andy and myself aren't doing so well but there's plenty of time yet. Well, good morning. Congratulations to Lee. Uh, just at first light this morning, Lee pulled an 18 pounder out. So Lee's off, to, off the mark as well now. So well done, mate. Simon and I are just getting there, enjoying our morning. I mean, look at that for a sunrise. Wow, amazing morning, amazing. Yeah, straight in our boat race at the boathouse. <laughs> Just as some of you might not be aware, there is our bailiff. So bear that in mind when you book the place. If you haven't booked it before, you will you will have a bailiff with you. Ooh, I bet it's cold in that wood line over there with Andy and Dave. <laughs> We're in. Feels like a good chunk, this one. This feels good. <coughs> Going over those weeds. Oh no! He's off. Oh, I've lost it. Oh, it was, it was a chunk as well. I've lost it. Yeah. Damn, oh, hey? that was a good fish. Well, I've just lost a fish. It was a really good run. The classic full-blown runner. Screamer, would you call it? What would you call him? Yeah, it was perfect take. I had it on for about three minutes. Off, off it came. Absolutely gutted, gutted.
so beautiful sunny morning let me give you a quick update I'm still on a blank although I did miss that one earlier this morning um, Dave's still on a blank Andy's still on a blank Lee's caught an 18 pound first thing this morning Dave uh, Chris is on two 20s um, I've now brought the rods in to 10 wraps and I've spotted out a wide, not accurate spotting. I've, I've done a, I've got two rods re relatively close to each other, so I've just done a little bit of an area spot, about four or five spots, nothing major. My left hand rod is now on a naked chod, uh, as recommended by the bailiff Alex. Alex has been very good really, because uh, Andy and Dave were struggling to find the spot each, because of the amount of weed on that far end and they've been out and they've raked it for them in the boat this morning. Now I, I didn't show you that because there's far too many people that will criticise other people doing their work so there's no point leaving it open for someone to criticise about something that um, is a bit irrelevant really. So Alex has been out, cleared a couple areas for the boys, raked them for him in the boat, really good of him to do that. And yeah, it's just, here we are, 24 hours in, um, one missed fish, so a bit gutted, but it's all part of the fish, fishing, isn't it? So let's just see how we go. So again, still an awesome lake, staff, but can't, can't fault them at all. So yeah, all in all, so far so good. I would like a fish just to break the duck on the lake, but there you go, something to, um, <laughs> it's still a challenge, isn't it? It's still a challenge. And what we got now, we've got Sai, he's got his baits in, he's just baited up again, and now he's going to do a couple of spots. So, if Simon doesn't mind, I'll just get a few pictures of Simon spotting in, where he's spotting. Uh, you're nine wraps, aren't you? Nine wraps. Nine wraps, yeah. So, we're, we're close, but, you know, um, not exactly in the same line. So, we'll we see what the result of that is. Lots of fish moving from left to right over on my left hand side towards the boathouse but very weedy hence the uh, naked chod so that's the only way I can really do that over there and the coots are enjoying my freebies I put in so the coots are do diving down now onto my maze that I threw in for them. Oh well let's, have, let's go over now to uh, Simon who's spotting? Would you class that as a blank? Is that still a blank? I guess it is. What have you got? A baby. Is it a baby on? What is it? It's a baby. Get off. Get off your little... Thought Lee was catching. <laughs> hey! Oh. Little baby! I'll put it in there. <laughs> like a little ball, isn't it? You can tell by the shape of his shoulders he'd be, he'd be a big fish one day. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget that's on that heli safe. So that'll drop the lead straight away. Oh, you've got it on the chod, have you? Mm? Uh, on the chod? Yeah, I've, I've set up my heli safe. Listen to the bailiffs. <laughs> You gain it on it? A little bit. There's not much I can do, I think he's in the weed. Is he? No. I thought he kited on it. I thought Early. he went I right, thought, yeah. I think no. it was the one. So it's not like you've got six people watching no, and two cameras pressure. watching. <laughs> no, no, no pressure whatsoever. This is not a drone hovering up with you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was tight, it definitely was, I'm sure it was that Something on the ripple line there, there's something. Can you give it some time? Yeah. There is, yeah, yeah. It'd be quite fun actually. <laughs> <laughs>
I'd expect this way, mate. Yeah. <laughs> right, guys, we will come back to the conclusion after a bit of a wait. And here we go, then, guys. The fish is. You're gaining on it now, Matt. Yeah, he's direct line now. So, yeah, here we go, then, guys. Giving the fish a bit do its own thing. It swam out the weed bed and it's on the move again. But the amount of weed itself, there is a chance it may go into another weed bed. That's just the key in it. Try and just try and keep it moving so it doesn't go into a weed bed. Who's ringing? Me. Maybe we're. It's Tyson. Let me hold your rod so you can speak to him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a fucking two pounder, won't it? I don't know. <laughs> a two pounder and twenty pounder weed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's close in. That's the key in it, just keep, keep it moving now. Lee. I'm hoping battle at the goal this way. Nice shot there, Dave. Got it on the move. Bit of teamwork involved here, guys. Do you want to step over the side? Trying to get in the doors. No, I'm under. I'm under. Get, get the rod down low, low, low. Good fight that ball of weed. Persistence and patience, guys. Yeah. Persistence and patience. Billy banger. Billy banger. Nice. No. Yeah. Is it PB? No. <laughs> no <laughs> such luck for you. Ready? <laughs> okay. Here we go. My first fish off the lake, and I'm absolutely over the moon with it. It's a 20 pound, and it was caught on a naked chod of all things which was advised by the bailiff so I'm well pleased with that so it always pays to listen to what you're told doesn't it so thank you very much Mr Fish well chuffed with you now let's get her back in as quickly as possible and oh, thank you lovely I'll grab a quick bitty one 
down. There she goes. Oh, and she's coming back, look. <laughs> she's swam round and she's coming back. And off she goes. And now off she goes. <laughs> Over the moon. That's what it's all about. Keep saying it, but it's a 20 pound carp and you ain't knocking a 20 pound carp. And it usually does. Right, tactics. On the bailiff's advice, move the rods back out to 12 wraps. And I have done so, and I've put out three rods in a line, probably covering four wraps in total distance apart. I've then put maize out at 12 and then I've put some boilies in on top of that as well so I've got a band of bait running at 12 wraps from left to right with my hook baits in amongst it all that's my tactics let's see how that pans out should be okay fingers crossed I did have a good run yeah this time uh, sorry this morning so maybe we get the same run again in the morning or if not beforehand but now it's time to relax sit back tidy up a bit too actually i've got a bit of a bomb site here at the moment and then see where the music takes us i got it 25 well, it's it's be 20, just over 23 pound yeah it? 23 pound dave i've got a bit mate i've been watching you fish for that oh, for three four hours at least you deserve it mate That's something coming, isn't it? Do you want to be the light man, Andy? Yeah. Oh, that's plenty of light. Look at that. Like the black pole that's a nice fish. That's nice coming. And you earned... Off the top, yeah. Every, every ounce of that fish, mate. Yeah, it was hard one. Yeah, well done. All I can say is well done. Yeah. Shine that in Dave's eye for more. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look Chinese at the best of times. Oh, that's, that, that's perfect, that. That's better. Yeah, nice fish off the top. And now I think you've got the biggest fish out of any of us. Well, nice. don't tell him that. I've never heard the last of it. Drink time. You know what that means, don't you? Yep. It means... <laughs> Dead it means uh -oh. only Andy left to go. <laughs> change that. Is, is this feeling a bit um, deja vu-ish? <laughs> I'll, I'll just nip back to my bib and put my <laughs> arse belt on. <laughs> Celebrate Dave's fish. You happy, Dave? Yeah. Dave has given me some apple Jack Daniels. Yeah. And here, I've never ever tried this before. He normally doesn't like the drinks I give him. I could quite honestly say <laughs> that shit. <laughs> I'll be back then, thank you. <laughs> it's not that shit. Give it here. Yeah, it's, what... it's good. I wonder if I can feel a tiny little. Uh, do you know what, Dave? You've, you've got a warm bottom. <laughs> have, you, have you got a medium kicker in your pants? <laughs> As we head into our second night, there's only Andy yet to score. Everyone else has had one or, or more fish out. And that was a cracking fish by Dave. And I said it to his face and I'll say it to you too. He bloody worked for that fish. He knew that his best chance was off the surface. And he kept going for it, and he kept going for it, and he kept going for it. And I knew, knowing Dave as well as I do, I knew he'd fish it until the very, very, very last second, the last minute he could see. And in Dave's head, he said to himself, one more cast, this will be it. I'll just do this last cast, and then after that we'll knock it on the head. And uh, he got it on that, on that final one. Now, of course, after that, you, you wouldn't keep, continue to fish anyhow, but it was genuinely his last cast, so... Well done, Dave. You, you really deserve that, mate.
So here we are, morning of day three. It is definitely time for me to go and have a shower. Simon's getting further and further away from me now. He won't stand any closer to me than he is there because I stink too much. So what I'm going to do now, I've reeled in. All the rods are in. I'm going to go, shit shave and shower, off to the shop, restock, get back, get fishing. That's the plan. Oh, and welcome to Idaho Day. Come on, Mr. P, your turn. Well, I've just had my shower, good shower. I'll show you the shower blocks later on when I go, when I go back round. I'm going to the shop in a bit. But um, Dave's had his second fish now, as you just seen. Well done, Dave. Second fish off the top. It seems that's the way Dave's going to finish this week because he's not having much luck on the bottom. So taking him off the top seems to be working for him. So well done. Um, all my rods are in, as I said earlier, but uh, there's fish cruising left and right. As soon as I brought my rods in, the fish came straight in. So they are very, very line wary. Very, very line wary. Second fish, Hello. Dave? Yes, 21 6. 21 6, well done, mate. Yeah, that was Another nice. one off the top, yeah? Yeah, it was hard work again. Yeah. Trying to get a, even one to take. But yeah, you struggled again, but I mean, well done for your yeah, perseverance, yeah, mate. Yeah, Excellent good. job, well done. I'm pleased, yeah. yeah. Rain tomorrow. Yeah. That'll be the last day of it today. <laughs> I'm going to try something myself <laughs> later, um, but I can't get the distance out where the fish are, so I might spot biscuits out, but the controller throat can get out there. Oh yeah. So I might just yeah, spot like biscuits. The wind yeah. keeps changing direction. Yeah, it does, yeah. I noticed that with floater fishing, it's just one minute they're drifting that way, and the next minute they're... Yeah. And, they're, then, um, and then there's a squadron of ducks to contend with. They're ten wraps out, but they're cruising left and right ten wraps out. They, we can't get them to come down on us, but what we are doing is uh, we're, just, we're just baiting up in a line. Yeah, but there's, there's nothing else we can do. Right, well as promised, this was a tribute to Idaho Day. <laughs> Why? I said, I said uh, Idaho purely and simply because uh, Maria uh, Salazar sent us over a load of stuff to the UK and I promised the next time I go fishing with the lads that she's a team member of, um, that we'll, uh, we'll share the food and we'll, the treats between us. Now, unfortunately, the spuds are gone. And a couple other things have gone because they couldn't wait, I'm afraid. Um, you mean you met them? I, I did eat them, yes, yeah, yeah. But I do have things to share. But before we do that, I think it's quite important that we must find out a little bit about Idaho. So, let's find out some facts about Idaho. I have asked everybody in turn to give me at least one interesting fact about Idaho. And so Simon here... Simon, can you give me an interesting fact about Idaho? Yes, I can, Muff. Um, Idaho has got the deepest river gorge in North America called Hell's Canyon. Oh. And it's 8,000 feet nearly, and it's deeper than the Grand Canyon. And there you go. There's one fact from, there's one fact from Idaho. Now, I will share these. I have shown these before, and I shared them with Dave previously. And it's Simon's turn. Now, I have told Simon what they're like, because Dave was worried that it was a trick sweet, and I was trying to con him, and uh, I wasn't at all. So, you're in for a real treat, mate. I'm only going to give you half. Take a chunk of that and try it. It's Thank absolutely gorgeous. Thank you very much. <laughs> what you reckon to them? Isn't that lovely, that, isn't it? Mm. Nancy, no. mm. Hazelnuts, everything in there. Mm. So there we go. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. And uh, we'll move on now to who's next in line? Lee. Lee. So we'll go over to Lee now. And we'll go around to everybody, because we can't meet as a group. So thanks for that, mate. No worries. See you, Maria. Well, I've just come round to the hill to Lee. His rods are in. <laughs> and he's not in. I wonder where he is. Anyway, we'll have to catch up with Lee later. Nice bivvy, by the way, Lee. It seems to ring a bell somewhere. I think I've got one very, very similar. So then, let's start with, first of all, Chris sampling the most delicious, I'm sorry, I've got to share them around. There isn't oh, enough right. left. So um, Lee's missed out because I don't know where he's, he's gone. In the shower. He's in the shower, is he? So I want you. To, I know you've got a bit of a sweet tooth. So just just try that. And tell me what you think. It's very very crumbly. You're better off just right. pouring it in your cake. Or to be fair. Right. If I, if I just take some crumbs out. Yeah. 
Yeah. Go on, go on, have the lot. You'll enjoy it. Trust me. Nice. Tastes exactly like nugget. Yeah, isn't it? Nice that. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Right, okay. So that's the first one. I think it's time for an interesting, interesting fact about Idaho. Yes, uh, Idaho is a northwestern US state known for its mountainous landscapes and vast swarms of protected, protected wilderness areas. And the capital is uh, Boise. I think I got that pronounced right. Yeah, well, I, you weren't reading that, were you? No, I wasn't reading that at all. No, that was, <laughs> that was just some I had. Um, Straight off the tongue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, the, uh, did you know the the uh, the city's riverfront Julius Park is is downtown green space containing rose green garden museums and zoo? No, I didn't. And again, how you've remembered that is absolutely oh, amazing. It's, it's just this encyclopedia of knowledge I've got in my head. <laughs> Are you? Do you eat or have you eaten in the past beef jerky? I have. Yes. I have here two different types to try. I have this one here is actually locally made. In, in the same town as Maria lives and works. Would you like to try this one? Yes, go on there. Uh, okay. Well, do you know if you wanted to take a flight to Idaho, it's 15 hours and 45 minutes I, long. I did not know that. Well, there you go. <laughs> 15 hours. Well, that's how long it would take for Maria to get here to come fishing. Mm. It's well yeah. packed. That's a fish on. And Chris gets a fish on camera. <laughs> right. I better get out of the way. Fish on. Spooled up for this session with 18 pound line. And, well, there you go. Obviously, some of the weed is still coarse enough to still cut through 18 pound line. Hey ho. That's where it goes sometimes. Sorry about that, Chris. That was really unlucky, mate. You may also notice in the background Another bivy that looks very, very similar to mine. <laughs> There's th three of us have got the exact the same bivy. Right, here we go. Beef jerky. Grab yourself a piece. That smells amazing. Mmm. Let's just try and break a bit off. That is actually really nice. I can't eat it. Me taste. <laughs> don't want me to chew it up for you yeah, and regurgitate if you, if you it. You don't mind, yeah. No, that is actually genuine really, really nice. That's the local one, that's the one that's made locally. Right. I'll have to I'll have to find out the name of the town. I can't remember off the top of my head. Shame on me. And I'll put the name of the town here somewhere. It's not Boise, is it? The capital of Idaho. No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> I wonder. If Brad Little, the governor of Idaho, would like this. Mmm. That's an interesting mm. fact. Mmm. Mmm. Well, I've got to move around. I've got to meet everybody. Thank you very much for that, mate. Do you no want another worries. piece? Do you want some more? Actually, I will, because that is actually really nice. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I, can I take a white bit? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, <laughs> I've, got, I've got two lots. Here we go. This is Jamie. Jamie's caught... Well, this is... Four, five? Uh, four. Four, four fish. It's a mid double. Mid double. Nice one. Congratulations. Right, so what I have here is, this is a treat from Idaho that somebody sent to me, um, one of the subscribers, and I'm just sharing it with everybody. Would you like to try some genuine Idaho and beef jerky? You're all right, thank you. You don't want to try oh, some? Oh, nah, look at it. It's absolutely amazing stuff. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I'll be honest with you, yeah. I'm uh, fish fingers, chips and beans man. You can't face it? <laughs> I can't, then. Okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> that's all right. Well, I thought I'd better offer you. So. Awesome. But I can offer you a glass of wine instead. Would you, you like know, a glass of wine? We're teetotals. We, we don't drink. We don't drink. <laughs> You're not welcome in my fishing club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Well, okay, no, fair Drop enough. Dropshire, we're hard to please. That's what I mean. <laughs> okay, fair enough, no problem. So, over to the grenade site. Oh my word. Is that your new tracker burner? No, I've had it 10 years. Right. Tell you what, mate. That looks delish. That looks absolutely lovely. Yeah, there's all sorts in that. Potato, chicken. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's ginger, garlic, there's everything. Everything, there's celery, yeah. potatoes. Very good. Christopher's joining us now. Hey, right. Chris, hey, everyone. Cheers. Cheers, Dave. Cheers, Dave. And Christopher. Oh, hang on. Oh, where's my real drink? Where's it? Always ignores me. Cheers. I thought you were leaving oh. me angry. Here we so. go. Firstly, Lee, <laughs> you, I tried to save as much as I could. Try that. Tell me what you think. So, honestly, you, you won't regret it. I normally, I normally snort cocaine. Mm. <laughs> Never seen anyone eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Another party. That's Sorry, good. it was so. Sure. You, you're not supposed to eat it. So. <laughs> I meant try it in the shower. <laughs> right. What do you think to that? Yeah, it's a good spot mix. Yeah. So, got some rice river wild rice lumberjack soup. Well, I am in the woods. That might be a hammock in one that. Now, I'm going to save that one. I think that's something that for the woods, isn't it? That one. It is. Although we are in the woods right now. There is some more beef jerky in and I'm hoping I've got another one of those. Oh, some wild huckleberry gourmet ground coffee, premium roast. So, got some good old American <laughs> coffee. <laughs> I'd love to try that one. <laughs> yeah, can we try the coffee? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, do you want oh. to try it? I'll try it. <laughs> no, I'm joking because I don't drink Fuck coffee. Fuck you, I knew you was. <laughs> <laughs> You look surprised then when I said, oh, I'll try that coffee. We have some bison jerky. Some bison jerky as well. So that's in smaller pieces when, when you've eaten all that stuff. This stuff is actually made in the town that Maria lives in. So that's, it's a locally produced jerky. And I think that's really nice. And I don't mm. even eat beef. I like it. So mm. there's that one as well to go. Bison. And I'm hoping somewhere in the depth I've got one more sweetie left for Chris. Uh, Andrew, and we have, this is the last one, Della Rossa. Have you tried these? Have you had one of these already? No. Have you, is it you that's not had one? No, I've had one. No? You're lying to me. I'm not lying to you. Been, you're lying? No, I'll have another one because they're nice. Yeah. Like, uh, is that the same as what I just had a minute ago? Yeah. Do you want some more, Dave? I've got a bit of beef jerky in my mouth. Share it. Could do some dental floss really with the beef jerky. Yeah. Thank you. I'm a right. freak, I'm not a sweet tooth. Very nice though. Mm. Very nice. I enjoyed that. And that's an Idaho sweet. Now then. I don't have no idea. Holds them out. Easy now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're in the chair. You need to move forward, Dave, you're not in the shot. That's why I'm here. Oh. A new carp chair. I lost to the fish, Lee. You lost to the fish? Yeah, it went in the weed and cut me off. Seriously? Yeah, it was all on mass any, videos, huh? Any new line? Yeah, 18 Man. pound line, it cut through it. <coughs> Gets everywhere. You top yourself up before you come round. It's on two fish, Dave. It's on two, yes. Yeah, so I've, I've had four runs now, landed two and lost well, two. Well, don't count. Right. Come on then. Let's see who's been studying. I've not who hasn't. Seen the book. Hmm? I haven't seen it. I've seen a couple of pages. Okay, interesting facts. Go on, Andy, you can pick one. Interesting fact about Idaho. I don't know idea. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know Idaho. I mean there's some obvious ones, isn't there? You know what you want me to do? Find, find an interesting fact in that book and share it with the world. Armand Killebrew is a professional baseball player. He ducked it into the Hall of Fame in 1984. Who was that? Harman Killebrew. 
1910, a fire in northern Idaho, known as the Big Blow-Up, killed 85 people and destroyed thousands of acres. Steelhead. They've got a Dolly Varden. Talk to the camera. They've got a Dolly Varden. Have you heard of one of them? No. A crappy? Mm, I've had a few of them. A bluegill? <laughs> no. And a Kamloops trout? Oh! No. They've got steel eggs there as well. They have. Catfish. Well done, yeah. Bass perch, all the usual stuff, catfish. Can you give me the most famous thing that Idaho is famous for? Producing. Potatoes? Potatoes indeed. Potato. Potato. <laughs> we thought that was Ireland. No, I did get some. There was some spuds, but the Idaho spud, it's called. Now, I, I actually had some sweets that was called the Idaho spud, but I don't know what happened to them. They, I don't know. They're not in the bag anymore. I don't know where they went. So, so you've I don't had know. So, was a spud? Yeah, potato. So you got sent spuds? No, no. These were sweets. Spuds. The Idaho spud, which was a sweet, a bit like our snowball sweets. Oh, so yeah. That thing that we just eat? You put water in them. That, that was a Rossa, De La Rossa thing. Yeah, nice, yeah they are very nice, yeah. That's for tuna and coleslaw. Yeah. So there we go. There was a few interesting facts there about Idaho from all, from everybody. Jerky was fantastic. Yeah, yes. that is, that is very you, good. Maria. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Maria, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, mate. Much appreciated. That's it. Thank you for joking thank you, us Maria. off. Thanks, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, whilst we're eating our dinner, Chris is checking out the fish on his perch. You alright Chris? Get off that perch. <laughs> this, this ain't camel toe, this is moose knocker. <laughs> Around, I might need it for you Andy. No, clearly not. Chris, as always, a pleasure to spend time with you. See you later, mate. Ciao. Gonna take me moose knuckle away. Yeah, that's uh, probably... Moose knuckle away. Oh, it's actually this. Yeah, it is that way. <laughs> well, as we sit enjoying our moment, Dave has been doing a bit of floater fishing, and again, is into, looks like, is it his third? What are you weighing at, Dave? I can't read it. 26 and a half. 26 and a half, minus two and a half. 24. 24, yeah. 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 Over there. Hey, well done. <laughs> Guess what? Uh, off the top again, as last the last three now. Uh, quite a quick the bite, this one. Well, I've had all three off the top, haven't I? So, third 20 off the top, which is my PB now. Yeah. 20's off the top. Yeah, that's awesome, mate. Well done. So, what a lovely fish. Good. It wasn't a bad fight this one, it was quite an easy one. Yeah, yeah it didn't. I thought it was smaller than... I, I thought it was smaller the way it was coming in. As soon as I picked it up though, I thought, weck. Yeah, that 21 I had a lot more trouble with wetting weed beds. Beautiful. Yeah, nice. Looks big good. smile. Well done, mate. It's a big smile. <laughs> right. Well, I'm in. Got myself a morning run. But I'm also again in the weeds. So I've just got to be a little bit patient with this one. Doesn't feel like a biggie. I've got a pasty in the net. Oh, have you? Yeah. I've had a double take, but one was about five ounces. <laughs> Did he see you, did he? Yeah. Keep going, keep that always turned. Let me do it. Yes! <laughs> nice and patient. Do you know what? You got it in just in time for sunset. Didn't think go bad, did he? <laughs> Have we got any fisheries in my frames? Still aching. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm by taking cocoa mold every morning at the moment. I'm mm. like, it's fucked. But at least we've got a fish in the net. <laughs> well, so, there you go. Second fish of the session. Another £20, 4 ounce carp. I caught this one. 
on my good old trusty Hinders XO. And Chris, you'll back me up on that, won't you? Yeah, I saw it in film. Yeah, so again, that I, I always use that bait. It, it never fails me really, to be honest. But yeah, this this is a nice little fish. I'm more than chuffed with it. Let's get her back in and let's crack on. Let's have another one. But yeah, two twenties in a session. I'm happy with that. Very, very happy with that. Come on, baby. Get your tail in. Thank you for your help, Chris. Much appreciated, mate. Well chuffed. Well, we're into our final 24 hours. It was a good fish this morning, so that's two two out of the water. I'm really pleased with that. Um, also had a couple of little ones as well, but they've gone over to the stock ponds. Um, Simon's struggling a little bit. He's had that first one, but not had anything since. But yeah, as, you know, that's just where it goes. Andy's not had anything yet. Dave had a, 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 an amazing session last night off the water again. So I think Dave's up to three, maybe four fish now. So uh, Dave's done really well. Chris unfortunately is losing quite a lot of fish um, he had to pull earlier not for a break but uh, using rubber hooks. yeah he's using rubber hooks as Simon says <laughs> safety hooks <laughs> yeah the, he's, he's keeping the uh, little green bead on the top just to keep the hook nice and sharp yeah, unfortunately for Chris, I mean, one went over to the sluice and he had to lock lock down to stop it from going around the back of the sluice. And unfortunately, it, the hook pulled again, so shame really. But yeah, he's lost quite a few fish, as Chris. Yeah, uh, I <coughs> really surprised the... Uh, I started fishing the session with a Hinders XO and um, when everyone started catching on the yellow, small yellow pop-ups, I, I went... I changed over to that and uh, last night I thought I'd go back to the XO's again and sure enough this morning off it went another 20 so I'm, 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 I'm chuffed with that so my favourite bait is definitely doing the uh, business again here or it's done the business again for me so yeah yeah a little bit of rain on us it was forecast but there's nothing you can do about it Actually better for fishing really, to be honest. So all in all, I've got plenty of bait out. I've spotted all my bait out now, I've got nothing left. So that's it, it's, it's all gone out. Loads of bait on the spots. Let's see if that produces one of the big girls. Let's, let's hope so. But yeah. Better fishing conditions than yesterday, that's for sure. And it definitely will get the fish down, hopefully feeding the pressure's changed. Um, and the rain's blowing in on me, so I may have to batten down the hatches any minute just to keep the rain out. You gotta do it in this rain, Matt. Yeah, he's telling me he's a girl. He's a girl. Apparently he's reeling, apparently he's reeling in a duck. Now, Lee's just caught a fish and it's raining like you would not believe. So, 
well done Lee, but I'm not coming over to film it. Simon went to the shop today and bought me a special treat for after dinner. There you go mate. Look at that. Where am I? Thank you kindly sir. You're welcome. I, I guess I can find somewhere for that. So here we are at last, after so many blogs of Andy blanking, he has finally, finally caught his fish on camera and not only has he caught his first fish, he's kicked our asses with a weight as well. Coming in at what Andy? 27 pounds. And what did you catch it on mate? It was a uh, cell, topped with an essential cell yellow pop up. Right, nice one. Mate, your perseverance <coughs> is amazing and I'm so pleased. Well, well done. I was, uh, I was resigning and coming as a guest next time. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got a bug on your I, camera. You got a fly on the camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon for you, mate. Chuffed to buggery. I want the big mouth. You look at the. Thanks, boys. Another top social. Yeah. Can't wait for the next one now. I'm all excited. Well, Jamie, thanks for looking after us, mate. Problem, it was a pleasure. Nice little session. Everybody caught the end of it, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. So been a nice to bit, yeah. Yeah, it's been yeah. awesome. And we'll nice see to meet you been Probably see you in the future. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah. To be honest, if we could uh, come again, that'd be. Yeah. So thanks for that, mate. Great, it was, yeah, yeah, lovely yeah, place. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. That's good. I'm glad you've been. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's hard to please everybody. Don't get me wrong, but you know, it, there's a lot of effort gone in, a lot of time, yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. Um, you can see. Yeah. And, uh, the way that you please is, is good. Yeah, good, nice one. Thanks again, mate. Brilliant. Cheers. I don't know how I do it, but I managed to get it in that car every single time. And I still love that car. Right, that's it then, guys. It's all over. Four days has come to a conclusion. Been a good social. Well, we've been a bit spread out but we've been as social as we can out we lads yeah, yeah 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 but once again it's been another brilliant social guys fantastic and this time we've all caught yay <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah with uh yeah. Well, andy finally managing it at the 11th hour and 59 minutes yeah <laughs> but, and the best fish as well white yeah. wise yeah yeah awesome anyway guys it's been a brilliant social Yep. Great to meet up with you all again, lads. Yeah, and you, yeah, mate. And you yeah. guys. Roll on the next one, whenever that'll be. Well, it's not it's too long. long for it. Yeah. yeah. Me and Math are actually meeting up again a week Friday, a week from today, aren't we, Math? That's it. Yep. 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 The YouTube blogger social. Anyway, till then, guys. Thanks for watching. Tight lines. Tight lines, guys. Tight lines, guys. Tight lines, guys. Tight lines, guys.